So the next thing I'm going to look at is playable reel tracks. This feature now allows you to customize your reel tracks performance by adding your own notes. You'll then hear those notes using a MIDI sound, often a sound that was created when the reel tracks was recorded using the same instrument, amp, effects, etc. This means you can get the reel tracks to play the notes you want at key parts of the performance or replacing what the reel tracks is playing for any sections in the song or individual bars or even just a beat here and there. So I'm looking now again at the, the last file I worked on to demonstrate the all tracks are equal feature and I'll try using playable reel tracks on some of those tracks. So with this file here, um, there's a soloist in it, uh, playing a guitar solo, and it's just basically playing through the entire song, but I think maybe I just want to have the soloist going for like a four bar intro, and then maybe vocals will come in and I'll want the soloist to stop. But I, I don't want it to stop abruptly, so I want to maybe have something that kind of leads into uh, at the bar where the the singer will start. So first of all, I'll make an intro. There are some features that you can that can make automatic intros for you, but I'm just going to take the first four bars and duplicate it here. So then these four bars here will be the intro to the song. Um, when it loops around here, I'll change this so that it starts at bar five, so that when it when it goes to 36, it'll loop back to bar five. So this is just a four bar intro. So I'm going to generate and play again, and we'll hear what the soloist part comes up with for those first four bars. Okay, so I really liked what it came up with for the first four bars. Um, and then, as I mentioned, probably at bar five, I might want uh, a, a vocal part to come in or something like that, that uh, I could do later. So I'll want the soloist to stop there. Um, but rather than just sort of end abruptly at bar four, if there was something that it could do to kind of lead into bar five, and that's where the playable reel tracks comes in, because uh, I can add some notes that will be playing with the same guitar tone effects, etc., but just add a few notes that kind of leads into it a bit better. So you can use the playable reel tracks either in the regular notation window or the piano roll. Uh, the piano roll is in many ways a little easier to use for entering notes. So I'll go into the piano roll first, I, although I will show you uh, in another example where I'll use notation. So um, I'll click on this guitar here. So this is now the soloist. And now we see some notes here on the piano roll. Now these are MIDI notes, um, but they're not. That's not what we're hearing when I when I play back here. So, so these notes here are not generating the sound. They're just playing in tandem with the real track because the real track is an is an actual audio recording of the of the musician. But these notes are are in here mostly for display purposes. So if I go into the notation window you can see these are those same notes, but just arranged in notation. And uh, that's kind of what the purpose of those notes is. However, with the playable reel tracks, we can now add some notes to make them so that we're actually hearing those specific notes. Because if I change any of these notes right now, it's not going to do anything because, as I said, they're not, that's not what's generating the sound. But I'll show you kind of what I mean here. So it was at bar four here I wanted the solo to end. Now it actually already kind of ends in a, in a you know, pretty satisfying way right here. But maybe I'll just have it play a couple more notes to and have like a final note, long note held here at bar five where, and bar five is where the vocals could come in. So uh, first of all, I'll press the playable reel tracks button. Now it says this will install a high Q patch plugin on this track. So this is now going to install a sound onto the track that will make it so that some of these notes can actually be be heard and you can change and add them. So I'll hit OK. You can see there's now a little green bar around the playable reel tracks. That means playable reel tracks is active uh, for this track. If I switch to other tracks, you can see that that green bar is gone. But if I go back to the soloist track, there it is. 
Now, if I click on any of these notes, um, we'll actually hear the, the MIDI sound. Uh, it, it will play a little. So that's the sound that has been uh, installed. So um, now, as I mentioned, I'll, I'll want it to stop playback here. So before I get started adding some new notes, I will right click here and I'll go create mute region to mute real tracks. Uh, so this that's this region up here. By default, it's just put in a bar, but I'll drag the end of it and drag it out so that it covers the next 16 bars or so here. So, um, well, just for now, I'll just do these eight bars here. So these are all gonna be silent. If I now start playback here, we'll, we'll see that there's, we won't be hearing that soloist. Oh, and it's actually removed all of the, those notes from here as well. Um, there you go. So um, I'm actually going to freeze this as well, uh, just just um, so that it doesn't at some point get regenerated. All right, so the last long note it played here was this note. And maybe I'll have it resolved down to an A. So. What I'm going to do is, if, if I hold Shift and Command, uh, it turns the icon to that little pen icon. So I'll add an A right here, right at the downbeat of this bar. And I'll drag the end so it extends and plays a full bar. And you can see these notes here are uh, sort of dark gray. And this new note that I've added here is green. And it, the green color indicates that it's a playable real track. So these ones are still just indicating what the what the real track is doing. So we're not hearing those when I play it back. But this one now, this is a note that we will hear. So I've just added that one note. Let me just play it right now and we can hear that note then play. And it's a little quieter than the others, so I'll just increase the velocity. Now that, the velocity there was maybe a little bit higher than I wanted, so I can bring it down a little bit and I'll try that again. There, that, that's perfect. Rather than just have this note play and then this note play, I think I want to have uh, maybe an eighth note here. Uh, so we'll add another note right here. Uh, C sharp. There we go. And um, also, if you're not familiar with uh, working in a piano roll, it's always easy to see what note you're entering in because you can see it's it's kind of like a piano in that there are two darker lines here and then two lighter lines and then these three. So these are like the, the two black keys, uh, uh, C sharp and E flat here. And then you can see these ones here are F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. Uh, so it's it's you can tell just by looking at the grid here uh, what notes you're entering. So that was a C sharp there. And I'm going to go up here to where it says velocity. This allows you to change different things. Um, I changed the velocity to make that one note louder. But I can also go to pitch bend here. And I'm going to zoom, zoom in a little bit. Just so I'm so here is the the eighth note and this uh, there's the, the beat four and then here is the uh, uh, an eighth note in from beat four and I'm going to do a add, add a pitch bend here and what I'm going to do is this note here I'm going to treat it as if it was a bend up to the C sharp and then it's going to bend back down to uh, to a B and then it'll play the final note. Uh, an A here. So with the pitch bend, I'm going to go down a whole tone. So I'm going to click here and just drag down like this. So that adds a, um, a few little pitch bend events that will bring it down a whole tone. So let's hear how that sounds. Oh, <laughs> there, that was a mistake here. I then have to go back up to here so that the pitch bend is now back to normal for this note. So let's hear that again. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. I mean, I could have also just added another note here, a B, but I thought the pitch bend might be a little bit nicer um, to have it actually bend down. Let me just uh, finesse it a little bit here. So let me solo this. Um, I'll zoom back out again. And uh, I'll solo the guitar so we can hear just that little bit there. And now I'll play it with the band in it as well. All right, so yeah, that gives you a little idea of, uh, of what you can do with the playable reel tracks. Uh, adding notes, just a few simple ones, or you could get uh, get far more complex than that as well. I actually heard some other stuff that I might want to try as well. Let me just play back, play from bar five here again. Right, so with this one here, I'm just looking at this now, and I'm thinking that it might be nice. I like, I really like the part that it's playing, but it might be nice for the first four bars to be simpler, and then starting at bar nine, it can kind of continue what it's doing then there. So it's doing like an arpeggiated kind of thing, but rather than have it go up and then come down and continue playing through the bar, uh, I might leave the notes the way they are, but just remove some of them and have some of them hold on a bit longer. So with this now, uh, I'm going to I'm going to do it do it a little bit differently. I'll press playable reel tracks to start with first of all. Um so this is now another a different uh sound, one that actually corresponds with this guitar now that we're on this track here. So and bars 5 through 9, I'm going to do do the same thing again, add a mute region. For these four bars but what i'm going to do instead of de deleting these and or allowing band in a box to delete them and then adding my own i'm going to first of all just change all of these i'll highlight them all and i'll go up to here and i will go change selected notes to playable so we can see now they have all changed to green so the real track is muted here and it's now showing these as playable reel tracks. So now if I just play it, these this will be actually playing the MIDI sounds for these four bars. So I'll play just a little bit of it. Um, these notes here, as I mentioned before, they, they were really intended for the purpose of uh, notation. So it might sound a little stiff, it might not sound great right now, but um, I'll, I'll do some work on it and we'll see how it sounds after that. But let's listen to it right now then. Starting at bar four, we're going to hear the real track, then the real track will cut out and we'll hear these notes actually being played. All right, so um, now what I wanted to do is play mostly very similar part but just with fewer notes and kind of just going up and then holding the notes through. So I'll zoom in again, again a little bit more. And so this note was fine. This one's fine. And so I'll leave these four, but these ones here now, I will just select all of those and delete those. I'll extend all of these. Well, maybe I'll leave this one here. I'll leave that one. So I'm going to continue on and do all four of these bars, but right now, why don't I just see how that sounds? Okay, so um, 
Now the velocity is different as well, so you, you can fine tune that. I could just change the velocity of all of these. Uh, and actually, yeah, I think I will. I'll just go like this and um, that changes them all, moves, brings them all down. Okay. So again, I'll remove some notes in here. Um, I'll remove this one and I'm just pressing the delete key. Uh, if you highlight notes, you can just pr press the delete key. So, I'll remove all of these extra notes in here. Including this last one here. since I removed those other notes. I'll remove this and make this one longer too. So we're, we're keeping very, a, a lot of what was there already we're keeping, but we're just kind of changing around um, how it's sounding. And before I play this, let me have a look too. So it'll, it'll play all of these up there. Uh, this one here, this note could actually just hang on through into the next chord as well. So could this one. Let me see, this is a D here. Uh, I won't have the D going through because then it, it might sound a little weird over the F sharp minor there. But um, I'll hold these over. I'll hold that all the way through as well. There we go. Okay, so um, I don't know what this is going to sound like, but I'll give it a shot. First of all, I'll leave it soloed and I'll just play it through and then I'll play it sort of in the context of the rest of the band as well. So that actually was, I liked all of that except for this last note. I, I'll just take that one out and leave it. And then it's going to go, and you know what? I'll even drag these over into the next part because we'll still hear them go in. The, this is muting the real tracks up until the downbeat of bar nine, but that doesn't mean you can't have playable real tracks still in those parts. Um, oh, and these were, all, you know what? I'm going to bring the level of all of these down probably to about here. Well, I'll see how that sounds anyway. And now I'll play that uh, in the context of the whole band. Yeah, so I really like that in that it's you have four bars playing a certain way and then and then it goes back to the regular real track where it's a little busier and, and more complex uh, but you have that nice little contrast between a little four bar chunk and then another four bar chunk so um, yeah so I, I, I quite enjoyed doing that and I think the results were pretty good with this one here so I'm gonna go and try out a few different instruments now guitars work quite well but uh, other instruments do as well so um, yeah, I'll, I'll experiment a little more with some other sounds. So we now have another new reel style here uh, with Banner Box 2022. This one features uh, a reel tracks first, sitar. It also has a dolok hand drum. So both of these uh, we've introduced for the first time with Banner Box 2022. Also, it's not in this particular demo, but we've also added tablas and uh, we'll probably check out some of that later in the video as well. But for now, I'm gonna use this demo here to do another uh, little test with playable reel tracks. And this time I'll actually do use playable reel tracks with the sitar. 
Now, in the previous little segment, uh, I used the piano roll to add notes for the uh, for that country style for the soloist guitar and then one of the rhythm guitars. But in this case here, I will try it now with notation. So yeah, so I, I think I'd like to just maybe add some add a specific part for the first couple bars, and then I'll just let the real tracks take over from there. So here we have the notation. Um, let's go back to the beginning here, and I'll I'll play a little bit here. Just so that uh, all of the notes appear in the treble clef, I'm going to just change the options here and change the clef split down a little bit. Um, there you go. So now all the notes are appearing here in the treble clef. So like in the piano roll, you can click the, in this case, it's just PRT. So I click that and enable playable real tracks. Again, this will install a high Q patch and it is a particular patch specific, of course, to this real track. There is a now a, uh, a green outline around the PRT, and that means playable real tracks are active. So what I'm gonna do now is click on here, and I'm gonna make a mute region from this menu here. And I want it to start at the beginning of bar one and go until the end of bar two here. So from bar one, and I'll end here at bar three. So we can see now it's put this green bar up at the top and that means bars one and two, uh, the real tracks are muted. So I'm gonna just press play here and see. Now it's removed those notes entirely from here. And then the sitar comes back in there. So now, if I add any notes in here, they will be the playable real tracks notes. So first of all, I'll go to editable notation, and I'll just start entering. Um, maybe I'll just start off on an F sharp. All right, so now we've entered it in. Those are the playable real tracks notes that are in green, and then it will continue with the real track here. So in the last two examples, I showed you how you can mute the real tracks for a part and then put in playable real tracks and sort of go back and forth between real tracks and the playable real tracks. First we did it in the piano roll and then I did it in uh, the no regular notation window. For this last one here, I'm going to show you a way that you can actually add playable real tracks. So basically you're layering on additional audio information uh, to what's already there without actually muting it. So this particular song has this has, has a couple of electric guitars, and this one here is like a single roots uh, uh, thing, so it's playing kind of high bass parts, uh, more or less. So let's listen to that. So what I was thinking I could do with this one is maybe leave those notes in, but then add a harmony on top of those. So I'll go to the piano roll again, and here we can see this is the part there. So I'll enable playable real tracks. That again adds the patch that corresponds with this particular guitar. And uh, we're in the key of D. The first chord is a D. So the first note is a D here. So I'll add an F sharp above here. So there you go. That's the sound there, and this is the note that we'll actually be playing. So what we're gonna, when I'm finished with this, uh, we're gonna have a bunch of green notes mixed in with the black notes, and the black notes are just a visual representation of what the real track is doing, and then the green notes are the 
playable real tracks that are now going to be layered on top of this. So I'll just keep adding some harmony notes. The next chord is a B minor here, so I'll just leave another D in there. The next chord here is a G. So we'll put a B in here as well. I'll put an E here. All right, well, let's see how that sounds. I might have got a couple notes wrong in there, but we'll see how it sounds. So there you go, and I can could continue on doing similar types of things there, but now we're hearing a blend of the real tracks and the playable real tracks. All right, and before I finish up with playable real tracks here, I just want to go over a few other things in this playable real tracks area, uh, particularly in the menu item here. So I've got a song here where I've already put in some playable real tracks just for one bar. It's for this acoustic guitar here, so I'll just play a little bit and you can hear uh, what I've put in for that. All right. Now, first of all, the uh, I found the, the notes to be a little bit loud. So as I pointed out before, I could just do a sweep across here to lower the velocities, because you can see the velocities are quite high. There's another way to sort of set the level too, uh, to bring the level down if the playable reel tracks seem a little too loud, and that is this control right here. If I click on it and then drag my mouse down, you can see it's showing me a volume level that it is bringing it down. So I've now set it to negative 3.63, so let's uh, try this out now. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, and that actually seems to, to be balanced quite nicely now. So here it is with the band. Yeah, so that's great. And now there are also some other items in this menu here. Uh, the first one is this one here that's grayed out because it's not something to, to select, but it's a very useful item there in that it shows you when we first pressed playable real tracks, it loaded a high Q sound. But at any time, if you want to see exactly what that sound is, you can just go here. So this is guitar, acoustic, indie folk, and then, uh, yeah, and that's the, that's the sound. So if you ever want to use that sound, for example, if you like the way it sounds in here and you want to use it just in general as a, as a MIDI patch, you can just by selecting that. And you can also in here go and select a different plugin. So if I pick that, it give, gives you the whole list. Now, first of all, I'll filter to show you that one that we just had. Acoustic, indie, there you go, that was this one here. But for example, if I wanted to just switch to an electric guitar for that, I don't think it'll necessarily sound great in context, but I'll, I'll just uh, pick electric, uh, I'll just filter by electric, and um, here we go, I'll pick this guitar electric overdrive rock blues rotary. 
Uh, it'll sound pretty out of place, but you get the you'll get the idea. So kind of a cool sound. It just sounded a little out of place. Uh, but if the whole thing was was like that, that would actually would have been kind of cool. Now there are a few other items in here. Create mute region. I believe I used uh, the right click on the in the piano roll to enter the mute region previously. But you can also do it just by selecting this here. I did actually do this in one of the examples before where I took notes that were already in there that were just part of the real charts. Uh, and change them to playable so that we could then hear them and edit them. And then the reverse, of course, is true by changing selected notes to real charts. So for example, these ones here, if I select them and go change selected notes to real charts, they're no longer green, so now we won't actually hear them. If I play it now, because this region is muted, that guitar will just, just uh, be silent there. And this one also could be very useful. Select all playable notes. That will select all notes within the entire file that are playable. Uh, and then you could do, for example, if you wanted to delete all of the playable notes, you could do that and then just press delete. Incidentally, because those notes were not playable, when I started playback, it, it deleted them, but I can just go to edit, undo, and there they are again.